would rather be the three seed simply because he'd rather open at home than on the road. Homer Bailey, six up, six down to the first two. He'll face the bottom three in the Pirate order. Clint Barmers, Rod Barajas, A.J. Burnett. No, Chris, I think I'd rather be the two or the one and take my chances in starting on the road with this team's pitching Cincinnati that I can get at least a split on the road and then come home and have it in my advantage. Well, that's a good way to look at it. What I way I look at it, Jim, is I'm glad we're having this conversation. Yes. And so what would you like to do? No the number one seed, the number two, or the number three seed, rather than scratching and clawing at the very last week of the season to try to get in the playoffs in the first place. Come up with that ball as he slid on his knee to stop it. Marmus is aboard. That's the first pirate base runner. That's going to be an error charged to Scott Rowland. Well, not an easy play at all for Scott Rowland. Kind of gets a short hop right here, gets over, tries to backhand it, and we've seen him do that 99 times out of 100. That time the ball just came up on him a little bit. and. Well, that's not a normal effort play to me, is it to you? No, I, I got to think that that's a base hit. But they'll give him an error. He gets hurt because of uh, the plays that he makes and the gold gloves that he's won, I guess. I think what made that especially tough is that that ball came very close to hitting on the grass. And he probably wasn't sure as that ball was ready to take its last bounce before he went to glove it, whether it was going to hit on the dirt or the grass. So you kind of place your, your glove in a different spot based on where it's going to hit and it just bounced over his glove. Way, as you say, we've seen him make that backhand scoop play so many times. He's so good at that. Makes every play. In the air and drifting foul. Frazier will get the win. Getting back to the wild card versus the number one two seed. My thought is that if you are the number one seed, you guarantee yourself home field advantage when you go finally to the big dance there at the World Series. And that's really where your eyesight ought to be. Yes. You want to last through the through the second uh, through the second round, of course, with the uh, National League winning the All Star Game. That gives the National League team home field advantage in the World Series. But I mean, through the NLCS. And I think the other thing is, is that you know, I know that the Reds have played well against the San Francisco Giants and they pitch well out there and so on. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I think when you go out there to a ball club that has recently won a World Series, mm -hmm. so they're. Postseason veterans to say uh, that crowd will be whipped up into a frenzy. Dusty Baker knows what that's like out there. Sure. And you face Matt Kane and whoever they're going to set up next, whether it's Madison Bumgarner or Tim Lincecum or Ryan Vogelsong, uh, it's a tough act to, to get to. Jammed him there and a pop up off the bat of Barajas. Handled by Brandon Phillips. So you're saying. That versus going to possibly Atlanta or St. Louis. And going to Atlanta or St. Louis doesn't bother me nearly as much. That's just my opinion as a broadcaster. But uh, as going out to San Francisco, I think that's a very tough road to hoe out there in San Francisco because you're going a long way to get out there, number one, and you're going to a, a, a postseason tested team in the last couple of years with the Giants and maybe one of the better pitching staffs at all of baseball especially the top one two in their rotation. Now the arguments that you hear and, and Chris Fire has talked about it as Burnett files this away is a hey, he doesn't want to sit. He's not a fan of sitting three consecutive days before you play. The season wraps up on Wednesday. You've got Thursday Friday Saturday to sit and not play until you start on Sunday and you don't know who you play until late on Friday night. Yeah, that, that's an interesting perspective because he's got the pulse of the team right there, obviously being the bench coach. And, and he's played a long time, much longer than I ever played, Spire did. And he probably has a pretty good idea of what it's like for an everyday player to take three days off, even if you simulate, you know, practice or a little simulated inter squad game of some kind. It's not the same as going right from a, a relevant game into a day off and then play another game again. I think that's one thing that helped the St. Louis Cardinals last year. They played relevant games really from August 15th on. Yeah. And they were in a, win, a must win mode for the last month and a half. Burnett strikes out trying to bunt with two strikes, so he's gone second out of the inning. And you can counter all that, though, yeah. with the fact 
that when you get down to a game six in the NLCS and you battle to become the number one seed, you're going to be awfully glad you did then. Yeah, and I think one other perspective where where Chris Byers coming from is that he he gets a lot of the duties of preparing the team for the upcoming series as far as game scouting notes and team scouting notes and so on. All the coaches go over their particular part, and of course Dusty and Chris go over everything. But I think that you know he'd like to have a little bit of an advantage to to know ahead of time who he's going to play, sure. so you can better prepare. Yeah, if the team ends up being the number one seed, they'll go back to. Cincinnati following the game against St. Louis on Wednesday night and then wait to see who wins on Friday night in the play in game in the National League and then leave Saturday morning presumably to either Atlanta or St. Louis barring a collapse by the Cardinals and then you'll play on Sunday there's not nearly as much prep time as what Chris is talking really about. any way you cut it I mean the next home game that the Reds will play will be October 9th or 10th. Mm -hmm. Game three of one of those series. It's quite a ways off, really. It is. Two and zero to Alex Presley. Grounded out to Phillips his first time. Games to go in the regular season, so only Bailey has more than one start remaining until the postseason. Frazier on the run. Frazier, nice play out in left field. Boy, he played that ball like he's out there all the time. He's a good athlete. He can play first, he can play third, he can show you he can play left right there. He makes a nice running grab on this ball and the bottom of the number three. 